from North Karnataka, a land older than the Himalayas, come fascinating stories of our diverse wilderness and wildlife. Unique and amazing endemic species, some found nowhere else on the planet. A visually stunning and eye-opening series on the oldest geological formation of the Indian subcontinent. And the hidden, mysterious, wild wonders of the Deccan's natural world. This is Koppal. This is our wildlife. This is the Deccan. Older than the Himalayas, the Deccan Plateau is the oldest geological formation of the Indian subcontinent. And Karnataka, or land of the black soil, is in the center of this Deccan heartland. Black buck, the flagship species, awaken early to graze in the hostile summer. The land is hot, arid, dry and unforgiving. Feeding at dawn, they will rest under the shade of a tree when extreme midday heat makes it unbearable. The Indian wolf, the apex predator, also awakens early, searching for prey to hunt and feed himself and the pack. This is the primary function of wildlife, apart from procreation. With the sun now beating down, black buck will lick, looking for mates, displaying, snorting, and challenging other males in the herd. Tails erect, ears stuck to show aggression, and threaten rivals. For the right to mate with females this coming breeding season. The monsoons are expected and the seasons will change. Change is the only constant and change is coming. Shepherds too will reverse migrate once the rains arrive, staying close to their herds of sheep, protecting them from predators. This is the cycle of life. This is the web of life and death. This is the Deccan. Farmers and traditional bullockards now visit their fields, sowing and growing crops to feed themselves and their families. While change is the only constant on this planet, some things never change. Humans too grow crops to survive in this primarily agrarian society. But most grasslands have today disappeared, turned to vast farmlands. Modern machines now plow barren agricultural lands, where endless vistas of open grasslands once existed, with teeming wildlife. The monsoons will soon arrive like they have for the past millions of years, quenching this thirsty land and creating new life. Humans and wildlife await the rains to lash this parched, barren landscape. A farmer watches from afar as young wolf siblings trot across the Yeribumi, brothers learning the art of hunting, killing, and survival. They will learn to hunt in a game of life and death, while unsuspecting black buck are grazing on whatever grass is left. This is the survival of the fittest, where one must kill for others to survive. This is the Deccan. The bucks are in their sights and their lives are now in danger. The alpha wolf now takes charge from here on. 
He will plan the ambush, stalk and kill with his pack. But the siblings are inexperienced and alarm calls are heard nearby. Jungle babblers call loudly and the grazing herd are alerted of danger, giving away the element of surprise. Before the pack can get within range, striking distance and ambush their prey. Dust bathing green bee eaters panic and take flight hearing the alarm calls. The black bucks sensing danger also flee for their lives sprinting to safety. There is no room for error and their speed is what may save their lives. But the alpha male is not worried about the fleeing herd of panicked black bucks. He has his eyes set on a male feeding on ripening crops in fields nearby. And as he moves, you can see why. For the black buck is limping. An injured animal is easier to hunt. This is the survival of the fittest. This is the law of the jungle. The game of life and death. This is the Deccan. The signal is given and the pack moves in like ghosts of the grassland. Picking up speed, they head for the man-made puns to hide behind or to use as high vantage points to survey the horizon. Looking around, they position themselves for the final sprint. The trap has been set and they are now in position for the final ambush. Making sure they stay downwind to avoid any scent detection that will give them away. The time is now who will live and who will die. The limping buck is singled out and the pack closes in. While the young inexperienced siblings are positioned nearby as decoys. The hunt an attack is planned to perfection, to the final detail. It is now a waiting game and there is no room for error. The alpha male signals the pack and the hunt is on for the final ambush. The rest of the herd are still unaware of the pack's presence and grace. Predator, prey, hunter, Hunted is all a game of life and death. This is the law of the jungle. This is the Deccan. Each member of the pack has a specific role to play and the signal is given. The injured black buck running straight into the waiting pack targets locked. The final sprint the final assault, the final attack and in a successful hunt, the buck is brought down by the pack, dragged away to safety to feed peacefully and satisfy their hunger. Humans grow crops, wildlife feed on these grains and pulses. Predators will hunt that feed on these ripening harvests. A started Franklin calls, seeing the feeding wolf in the field, disturbing and waking a sleeping rock eagle owl nearby. Egrets are hunting for frog and prey, but sometimes the hunter becomes the hunted in this unforgiving land. This is the law of the jungle. This is the cycle of life the survival of the fittest, this is the Deccan. A peregrine falcon strikes like a bolt of lightning, killing the secret. Sharp claws and curved beak, tearing and ripping flesh from the bone. Some must die, so others can live. This is the way of life in the Deccan. Large raptors like eagles feed on their kills while scavengers watch. 
this jungle crow, waiting his turn to pick up the scraps left over, all playing their role in the web of life, the circle of life and death. The day is ending and the blood-stained wolf rests, tired, exhausted. He has hunted, killed and provided food for his pack and family. Another day, another hunt, another kill, another life. To reenact the drama that unfolded today in the Deccan. The day is now ending and the sun will soon set over the western horizon. The surviving wildlife and black buck will also retire for the day at dusk. The wolf will not halt again till the need arises and hungry again. A temporary truce between predator and prey, hunter and hunted. The wheel of life turns where change is the only constant. This is our natural world. This is the Deccan. The sun kisses the earth goodnight and a cool breeze wafts across the land. Soon, hunters of the night will emerge from their daytime slumber. While some sleep, others will hunt and rule the night. Night falls and the Deccan will be covered in a cloak of darkness. The dark night stretches his wings, waiting for nightfall to rule the night. Like a silent assassin, he will transform into a lethal hunter. Lesser carnivore like this jackal awaken at dusk and emerge from their dens. Using their stealth, cunning and intelligence to hunt in total darkness, to feed himself, the hungry mother and newborn pups in a den. This is the survival of the fittest, the law of the jungle. This is the Deccan. The Deccan reveals her hidden secrets and amazing biodiversity, her natural treasures and forgotten world that is the Deccan. A world we humans and wildlife share. Humans, wildlife, flora, fauna, habitats and seasons. All a part of this intricate and sensitive web of life where all life is important. All living beings, large or small, interdependent on each other to survive. The Deccan a unique, forgotten, hidden, non-protected paradise. This is the web of life. This is the cycle of life and death. This is our wildlife. This is our natural world and biodiversity. This is the Deccan. Hi, I'm Indrajit, Indrajit Gorpade. With a couple of like-minded, dedicated people, we have formed Deccan Conservation Foundation, DCF for short. Come, support us, help us to conserve, preserve and protect the last remaining habitats and wildlife in Kopal and the surrounding districts of the Deccan in North Karnataka.